Let's all have a little chat about some of the stuff that's going on here. We have all these essential workers that are out there. They're busting their ass, risking their lives uh, to take care of, you know, the American public and all the uh, people that have come down with uh, Charlie Victor 19. And <clears throat> what are they getting in return? I've gone in a couple of stores since this all started. I haven't gone into many. Um, I've been probably in two stores in the last month. Um, none of the employees have masks. Um, very few have gloves. Um, they have put up, you know, the plastic shields and things that are supposedly supposed to protect them. Um, you know, uh, it just doesn't seem like some of these corporations um, are not uh, doing what they could be doing to help protect their essential employees. Now, another great example is you have, uh, uh, I've talked to all three, uh, UPS, FedEx, and the post office. And um, they are not being supplied with uh, the proper um, PPE that they would probably need on their jobs. I know the postman told me that he brings his own gloves. Um, uh, the FedEx guy, he doesn't have nothing. Um, UPS, they haven't been supplying stuff, but they have been, quote, thoroughly cleaning their vehicles at nighttime. <clears throat> Although I um, am very interested to find out, and I haven't found out yet, um, I know in certain counties, uh, they have mandated, especially here in Florida, where you have to wear a mask if you go outside, period. They don't care what you're doing. If you're going to go outside of your own home, um, you have to wear a mask. So in my opinion, that is now considered part of your uniform. So they should be supplying uh, the mask to those employees. You know, all these essential workers. All these people at the, the hospitals, the doctors, the nurses, and, you know, right down to the cleaning staff and everything else, you know, they want them to reuse masks, you know, four or five days. You know, you've seen all the stories, doesn't matter which news network you watch, you know, it's just, they, they don't have enough. It's just ridiculous. These people are risking their lives to try to save us, the American people. And they don't even have the proper attire to protect themselves. So some of them are even being locked out of, well, I shouldn't say locked out. They're locking themselves out of their own homes to protect their own families so they don't contract this Charlie Victor 19. So, you know, makes you wonder, what is the government really doing for us? What is the government really doing for anything? Okay, so yeah, they cut everybody a $1,200 check. Okay, all right, well, that's fine. Yeah, okay, that might have helped some people out for a short period of time. Uh, now what? you still got millions of people that are unemployed. Um, you've got the, the, the unemployment offices in a lot of these states, all their systems are crashed. You know, people can't even log in. They can't even apply. They haven't been able to do anything. What are they going to do? You know, you have to be able to apply and start getting your unemployment in order to get your $600 extra a week that you're supposed to be getting, but you can't do that either. See, the government's saving money, you know, every time they turn around, they don't have to fork this money out. It's sitting in their bank drawing interest. Now, remember that. They're making interest on this money until they actually have to hand it out to you. So they're going to hold on to it as long as possible. Because remember one thing. This is a big club, but you're not in it. I'm telling you people, this is just getting, it's, it's getting ridiculous what's going on out there. And, you know, you've got our president that has been backing down since, you know, day one. You know, he hasn't told the truth on anything. You got the Republicans and Democrats. How long did it take them fighting back and forth over this and that and the other? As far as I'm concerned, both groups of them should all be thrown out and let's start over. You know, 
A lot of them have been there too damn long to begin with. So there'd be a good starting point. You've been here 30 years, <laughs> time to go. You know, <clears throat> but see, they don't like that. You know, they, they like they like to have, you know, these people that are in there that long, this way here they have control. You know, and you know, they get in with all these big companies and everything else, they don't want to go anywhere. They're making tons of money on the side. Why do you think that half of the Senate and Congress and everybody else, they're all millionaires? It's not because, you know, I mean, what they get paid, you know, they get paid anywhere between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars, depending on their classification and title, you know. But a lot of them are all multimillionaires. Gee, where'd that money come from? But, you know, nobody asked that question. And if they did, they'd all sidestep it anyways and just step back and say, oh, wow, what the hell is he talking about? Oh, we don't know anything about that. You know, oh, I got that from, you know, Grandpa, and, you know, when he died, he left me all the money. Yeah, okay. Can you believe that? I got a lot of land in uh, uh, the Everglades. I'd like to sell you for, never mind. People are just so stupid nowadays. It's just ridiculous. But we're all about the American public. We're all about the American public. You know, and we're taking care of the Americans. Yep, we're taking care of them. But why is it, why, why, why do we see all these thousands of people in, the, you know, in their cars and stuff? Because, you know, they don't have the money to go to the food store. And, you know, they're lining up for, you know, miles on end to pick up what little bit of food they can for their families. Because let's face it, most people live paycheck to paycheck. They don't have an emergency fund to fall back onto. They just don't. The government wants it that way. They, they don't want you to make that kind of money. You know, they don't want you to actually think for yourself either, you know. They like to have stupid, dumb people, you know, that sit there and look at them like, you know, with the dumb look on your face, you know. Uh, okay, I'll do that. You know, it's like, uh, no. You need to tell them to go screw themselves, you know. <clears throat> but that's just uh, how we are now. Welcome to the new world order. Here it is. Now we're stuck with it. And it doesn't matter who gets elected president. It really doesn't. Because it's just another new batch of morons that we got to deal with. So, you know. Unless we're going to just throw them all out and start all over fresh. You know? Somebody, I've seen some comments on uh, Facebook. And somebody made a comment, you know, they should sell, tell us the truth. Do you know what would actually really happen if the government actually told us the truth? Think about that for a second. <laughs> there wouldn't be anyone left up there because they'd all be gone. <laughs> That was about the funniest thing I've seen lately. Tell us the truth. Mm. Well, this was just kind of a little rant video and uh, just a amazement of what is going on in this country and how some people are being treated and how we're looked at as guinea pigs with, you know, all these drugs they want to force down your throat to save your life now, but yep, yeah, we'll kill you later on. But I can guarantee you it wasn't the president's fault. Till next time. Hopefully I'll catch you on the flip side.